Okay, so this is the truth about the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Stay tuned to find out what I think about it. And I will give you some shocking news at the end of the video, so stay tuned. So, I have been using this as my daily driver now for the past month or so. And I absolutely love it. I don't know if it, it, it is a phone or a tablet or... I think it both. If you see here, you have the phone factor right there. I know it's a little bit small and everything, but you, you'll get used to that. But wait, there's more. You can just do this. And then you have a tablet. Which other phone give you, gives you the same experience as that? I don't know. Maybe some China models like Xiaomi or whatever, but we can't get our hands on those devices here in Norway. And the battery life is fairly good. It's okay. It's not as good as the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which I used to have. But when I go to bed in the night, I have about 25% left on the device which is more than good enough for me and I consider myself as an average user of the phone if you would like and uh, I take photos make phone calls and messaging and browsing the web with the bigger screen right there just look at it it's so beautiful <laughs> I would be so happy if you would like smash that like button so it can reach more people here on the platform. Thank you. So the phone is connected to the Garmin Phoenix 7X and those two devices paired together just blows my mind. It's so good. It's so good. You can get a ton of data out of this device right here and all sorts of data. And let me tell you, this video is not sponsored by either Garmin nor Samsung. So, we have that out of the way. And I'm a big user of the watch. I have it on me 24-7. The only time it is off me is when I'm showering and when I'm charging it. Which, by the way, the battery life on this watch right here is it's so good. It's very 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 good <laughs> it have on one one single charge I have about 28 days of usage 28 days what but enough of the watch when I first transitioned from the iOS ecosystem and over to the Android I was expecting it would be difficult and nearly impossible but it isn't the transition went smooth as sailing as you can see I'm on a boat so therefore smooth as sailing it has been an absolute joy and let me tell you something else I was an Android user before switching to the iPhone 12 mini back in 2000 and when one or 20 I don't know I'm not sure but back then all of my photos and everything was stored in the cloud on the Google cloud and it was so good to see that it had taken good care of all of my photos from when I was an Android user and yes so so if you have watched this far I would like if you would uh, leave a comment down below of a emoji of your choosing by the way and yeah so here is the shocking news I promised you in the beginning of the video am I going to buy the Galaxy Z Fold 5 when it's released the short answer to that is yes absolutely yes so if you have enjoyed this video please check out of some of my other content on this channel I have a lot of videos and it's on the screen right here so I have I have given the responsibility to the YouTube algorithm 
to choose a movie which is think that you would like so please hit that video and I will see you on the next